This video is about version 2 of AssessMyVS, the Color Overlay Assessment app from Hardwaring Software Limited. AssessMyVS runs on iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad Mini and iPad devices using iOS 4.3 or above. Version 2.0 is a universal app, so it makes good use of whatever screen space your device has, whether it's an iPad, an iPhone or an older device with a 3.5 inch screen. AssessMyVS is a sister app to Illuminate. Both apps are aimed at helping people who suffer from visual stress when reading dark text on a bright white background. Academic studies have shown that coloured overlays placed over the pages being read can increase reading speeds by more than 25% for about 1 in 20 people. Those affected will include some dyslexics and migraine sufferers. Whereas Illuminate gives you the ability to place a coloured overlay on what you wish to read, Assess My VS is used to check whether coloured overlays will work for you in the first place. It can be used to test yourself and your family. It may also be a useful tool for education professionals to determine quickly whether a formal test for scotopic sensitivity syndrome would be appropriate for any of their students. Here is the main screen you see once the app has loaded. Assess My VS can only be used in landscape orientation. The screen consists of a bar at the top where test instructions appear, a middle section where the assessment text panels are displayed, and a bottom bar with a number of buttons. To keep the screen as uncluttered as possible, some of the buttons at the bottom pop up when tapped to show a bar of additional buttons for related functions. You then simply press the one you want, or tap the original button to hide the pop-up bar again. This button takes you to a help screen, from which you can view help videos to get the most of Assess My VS. This is a good place to go to familiarise yourself with the app. Tap this button to change some of the app settings. A vertical bar with two icons will appear. Tap again to hide it. The standard test wording for the app has been kindly provided by Professor Arnold Wilkins, but you can change this to whatever text you would like by pressing the Settings 1 button from the Settings pop-up bar. For more on this screen, please watch the Basic Settings video. You can change other aspects of the assessment process by pressing the Settings 2 button on the Settings pop-up bar. The most likely thing you'll want to do here is to adjust the size of the test text. You can do this by using the slider here. When you return from this menu, the test text size will have been adjusted and will be remembered for next time. For more details of the settings, please watch the Basic Settings video. Tap this button to rate, share or gift this app. A vertical bar with three icons will appear. Tap again to hide it. For more details, please watch the Spread the Word video. Now, let's leave all the settings at their default values and take the test. Depending upon the device you're using, you will see New or New and 16 displayed in the little telltale windows at the top of the screen. The standard test in version 2 uses a new, much improved assessment algorithm and a new, better balanced 16 color sequence than previous versions. These work together as follows. The main part of the test consists of up to four stages. If a preferred colour is found quickly, some of these stages may be automatically skipped. In each of these four stages, the participant is shown a sequence of two text panels with different coloured backgrounds arranged side by side. Once each colour pair is displayed, the app waits for the test subject to decide which colour they prefer. If the test subject finds the left-hand panel easier to read, he or she taps that one. If the right-hand panel is better, he or she taps that one. If both are equally good or bad, the participant presses the Equals button. If no choice is made for a thousand seconds, the app behaves as if the equal sign was pressed. Once a decision has been made by the participant, the next colour pair is displayed until that stage's test sequence is exhausted. Pressing button 1 will start stage 1. Each of the 16 standard colours is displayed in turn alongside white for the participant to decide which, if any, they prefer over white. Once all 16 colours have been displayed, stage 1 ends. If the test subject finds none of the colours was better than white, the test moves to stage 6, as it seems no colours will help with reading. Otherwise, the preferred colours are passed through to stage 2 for further assessment, where they are compared with each other and not against white. The stage 2 button is displayed to allow stage 2 to be started when ready. Pressing button 2 will start stage 2. Each of the preferred colours is displayed a total of four times against selected other colours. 
Once all colors from stage one have been displayed four times, stage two ends. If a preferred color has been determined, the test moves on to stage five. Otherwise, the highest scoring 50% of those colors is passed through to stage three for further assessment. The stage three button is displayed to allow stage three to be started when ready. Stages three and four behave exactly like stage two, gradually closing in on the most suitable color. Stage five appears once a non-white preferred color is determined. The participant can now use these two sliders to adjust the luminosity and saturation of the preferred color to find the most comfortable settings for them. Finally, pressing button six displays the results. By default, these are very detailed, showing information on each color per comparison, cumulative scores per test stage, and the particular parameter values used in this test. If you have an email account set up on your device, this button allows you to email the result to a destination email account of your choosing. You only need to enter these details the first time, and then they're remembered, but can be changed whenever you wish. There are three other buttons that may be displayed at this point. This one allows you to go directly to App Store to buy the Illuminate Reading Aid app that gives you an adjustable coloured overlay on your iOS device. This one takes you to a page of links to external web resources where you can find out more about obtaining a formal Scotopic Sensitivity Syndrome or Erlen Syndrome assessment. This one takes you to a page on the Ard Wearing website with links to relevant products on Amazon. If you want to restart the test from the beginning, press 1 and start again. If you only want to go back a stage or two, press the appropriate button to rerun from that point of the test. The other control on the main screen is the Info button. This flips you to the information view. This screen displays credits, version and contact information, and links to some useful web resources. Near the top of the screen is a row of square buttons that, if pressed, connect you to web-based content, assuming your device is connected to the internet. This one connects to the Assess My VS support page on Ardwearing Software's website. This one shows you details of forthcoming releases and other news about Ardwearing. This one shows you some information on our other apps available in App Store. And this one allows you to go directly to App Store to buy the Illuminate Reading Aid app. This one takes you to a page of links to external web resources. Finally, pressing the back button returns you to the main menu. Well, there you have it, a quick introduction to version 2.0 of Assess My VS. Thanks for watching. Once you've tried a test or two on the default settings, it would be a good idea to look at the basic settings and spread the word videos. You can find them on the help screen. They're embedded in the app, so you won't run up data charges or need a Wi-Fi connection to view them. We hope you like Assess My VS and find it helpful. If you have any further queries, please visit www.ardwearing-software.com dot com.